guys, so today is going to be a different video. I'm going to be doing a review on a camera that I recently purchased. So a lot of you guys know that my old Canon Legria Mini died out on me and I panic bought a new camera. Now I was looking at loads of reviews online of what my favourite YouTubers who vlog use and just general reviews on cameras that you should pick up for vlogging and this was one of the ones that maybe wasn't so prominent. A lot of the top recommendations were the obviously the G7X that was like the Mark, the G7X Mark II was like the top top camera that was recommended and I wasn't really in the market for spending five nearly six hundred pounds on a camera. So I kept looking and then I'm usually a Canon girl like I every camera I own and have owned usually is from Canon. So the one I'm filming on now, my previous one, my one before that was Canon 2, just a IX, a IX US, whatever it was, it was just a point and shoot basically. But I've always loved Canon, I've always thought they're great quality cameras, they work for me, I just love how reliable they are. So um, I did look into going into Sony and then I really wasn't into that either and all of a sudden I came across the Canon EOS M10 mirrorless camera. I've seen a few reviews about vloggers who were comparing it to the Sony and this one definitely stood out better with me. The prices were about the same um, so I went ahead and got the M10. So I don't actually have the camera here physically to show you because I have returned it um, and I'm just going to do a bit of a review on it. I've got footage in here that I'm going to show you that I used to take a vlog with it while I was away for the weekend. So if you're just here for that, I will put a little time frame in the uh, screen here where you can just go ahead and watch the vlog and you haven't got to listen to the review. But if you want to listen to the review and if you're thinking about getting a new camera for vlogging, then maybe this is one worth watching. Of somebody who's not a tech professional, I'm sort of a, you know, an amateur when it comes to it. I know a bit what I'm doing, but I'm definitely not a pro. Just a, just an open vlogger perspective. So if you want to hear about that and know, think about what camera you're going to get for vlogging, continue watching. So I bought my camera at Curry's PC World here in the UK. It was £299. So first and foremost price point, I know that's the most important thing a lot of people look at. I think this camera was 100% worth £299. This camera was overall a great camera. It really really was. I didn't find many faults with it at all. It looks like this, I'm putting pictures in the screen so you can see it as well. I bought mine in the white version so it comes in white or black which is really nice if you're a female vlogger because I don't know about you but I really like the look of white things. A lot of my, you know, my appliances that I have are, are white um, and you know I just prefer white in general. I think it's a bit more feminine, a bit more girly, not so like full on like camera you know so um, I was really happy that it came in white and I went ahead and got that one so in the box your body comes as a separate and you also get given the kit lens which is a 15 to 45 millimeter lens now this is the downside to the vlogging camera unfortunately it is obviously a bit more busty remember I was I was used to my Legria mini which just looks like this it is a flat very small camera they are not on the same scale at all the quality is incredibly better on the EOS um, rather than the Ligria and obviously they're just different cameras. That, that one was a literally a point and shoot camcorder um, and this is actually almost the camera I'm filming on, the full on, this is an EOS 700D by the way. Um, this is like a full on DSLR quality camera in a compact form, hence why it's called mirrorless. That's just the technology. For what you're getting, if you're looking for a camera that's going to do your videos, if you want to do sit down videos and vlogging, this is your cup of tea. It is amazing. £300 for that price is incredible. You get basically these cameras all in one. Now when vlogging, let's go through the key points. Stability. I really liked the stability on this camera. I wouldn't say it was overwhelmingly amazing, like you don't look like you're, you know, in a movie, but it definitely does help just stable out if you're sort of walking along. Mainly when I was filming, it was when I was walking along, when I was sort of in the model village looking around. Um, and it just sort of, it did well. It did well in supporting the picture. Um, it didn't feel, you know, you didn't feel nauseous when watching it. It wasn't one of those that was incredibly shaky. So yes, yeah, stability was a thumbs up from me. 
the focus ability. Now this was key to me. The one thing I loved about this camera and compared to the one that I had before that they didn't do in the Legria Mini was, this isn't a comparison by the way, it's just what I was used to, is that with the EOS M10, the autofocus is really, really good. It's got really good face detection and it's also got a really cool bokeh effect. Now bokeh effect is my favorite thing when I'm looking at cameras. The main thing that attracted me to this camera was bokeh effect. Basically, it's depth of field. If you don't know about cameras, if you really know about cameras, please don't like correct me or anything. I am doing this from a real amateur's perspective, um, as a lot of their customers are, so please don't hate. Obviously leave any helpful information you can in the comments. Uh, the main thing that attracts this as a vlogging camera as well, which I should have said at the very beginning, is that it has a flip screen, a 180 flip screen, which is the only reason, full on reason, I'm sure this is labelled as a good camera for vlogging. That's the main thing that vloggers want to see is make sure you can see yourself, make sure you've got a good shot, good angle, good focus. Um, so that was the number one thing that I loved about this camera. Then obviously the focus as we were saying, it is great. So you have got the choice of doing a manual focus while you've got your finger on the actual shoot button um, where you can push it halfway down and it will focus there and fast. Or if you haven't got that option, if you want to keep it smooth, it will gradually adjust to your face. Um, and I find that the background that it does, like the background, it blurs it out beautifully. Your face looks incredibly crisp and then the background is slightly blurred. So I loved the ability of this camera's focus. It really reminded me of this camera here, um, but obviously in the really compact form. So the next thing is sound. The sound on this camera I found fantastic. I thought it was really high quality, again comparing it to its price. Fantastic camera. Fantastic, fantastic um, mic quality. Considering there isn't any major um, sort of major mic that stands out on this camera it was fantastic its weight it's basically a it's aesthetic the camera is beautiful it looks fabulous to hold it comes with a neck strap so if you are thinking about vlogging it is a you know still able to have around your neck it looks it doesn't look so stand out as if you were to bring this this sort of big camera out and sort of film yourself with it. So it is slightly covert, but it is still a big camera. The lens is a good sort of this is a this is the iPhone 7 Plus. The lens, probably the body is just shy of this. It's like about this big here, and the lens is about this long, about half the half the size, if not more, of the phone. So it is a very bulky camera. This is the own my Twitter is going nuts. This is the only thing that is puts it off for me as a vlogging camera, but you can't complain because of the quality of the image from the lens. So I just kind of wish the lens was a bit more flat to the body. Maybe that would be more ideal because obviously holding it up like and filming in public, it does look very bold. It does look very big. Um, so that was the only thing I didn't like. And obviously putting it in your bag. I had a backpack the whole weekend and putting it in and out of the bag. I was grabbing it by the lens to pull it out um, because the lens was just so huge. It was bigger than the body. So I was like, you know, it's just, it's very big, but it is a retractable lens as well. So it can go longer to shorter. Um, so obviously I had it on the shortest setting while I was in my bag, but it's still not as compact as I hoped it would have been. Right, the other feature that I loved about this camera, and I'm sure I'm the last person to get on this, but with my other Canon cameras that I had, I did not have the Wi-Fi setting. Now this means the Wi-Fi sharing. It means that you can, basically I got an app on my phone that I could turn on the camera, I could take a picture with the camera, and then a cut, my phone would like connect to it and I could get the picture straight off the camera from my phone wirelessly. It was amazing. I used to do, I did Instagram posts where I would just take a picture, connect it to my phone and post it on Instagram. I loved that. I've not had a camera personally yet that does that. So I found that super, super helpful. That was definitely a huge thumbs up. That was one of its biggest features that I can see on here. The battery was fantastic, it lasted the whole weekend, it did well, I wouldn't say it was like, in, you know, I didn't use it for long, long periods of time, but I got a good sort of hour shoot in there. So the actual frames per second for the camera, the continuous shooting has a 4.6 frame per second um, average, which means that basically it's really nice and fluent, you haven't got any sort of jerking between the pictures and between the frames, and you don't have any of that weird, really sensitive footage whereas like you can see every tiny little shake. It is really nice and smooth, crisp and clean. I think that's everything I have to say about this camera. Just overall 
it was a fantastic camera. I really, really liked it. The only reason I personally returned it is because Canon contacted me and I basically got in touch with them and they said they should be able to fix my Legria. So I didn't want to, I couldn't justify having a £300 camera and then have my Legria and, you know, all my other sort of devices when I don't necessarily need them. Also, I really didn't feel 100% confident taking that camera out and vlogging the way I did. It felt in a weird way, I don't know how to put this to you guys, but compared to my other vlogs, if you're used to them, it felt too professional for me to take this camera out. It was filming like I was filming now. It didn't feel right to me. Um, I'm very used to a, a sort of a quick pull out and sort of minimal camera that's, you know, not so high tech as such. I suppose if I was a new person looking for a vlogging camera, it would be a fantastic one to go with to get used to because the quality is very professional and once you know how to work it, your videos will be top notch. Um, but for me, I do my sort of videos here and I would have probably used it more as a sit down point and shoot camera rather than a vlogging camera if I kept it. But I do think overall this is a great investment in a camera if you're thinking of getting a new vlogging or sit down camera if you're on YouTube. It ticks most of the boxes guys. It doesn't let you extend um, any external microphones or anything like that like we do for more high tech cameras. You will need to get a proper DSLR for that. But overall, totally recommend this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, on the Canon M10 uh, mirrorless camera with the 1545mm compact kit lens. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you'd like to see the vlog that I filmed on the weekend of when I went down to the English coast, then please do keep watching and you can check out the quality of the camera. Hey guys, so today you are here with me on a vlog with my new camera. That's why we're not fish lensed. Um, so I'm down in, where am I? At the minute I'm in Torquay, but I, um, we are staying in Dawlish and I thought I'd take you guys for the weekend. I've already been here a full day, but at the minute we're at the model village and this is like the main attraction of Torquay. But I remember when I came here when I was like literally four. So me, my dad and grandpa have come back now and I really wanted to show you guys because this is so cute. It's basically like, well, it's a model village. It's all like baby, baby, baby little scenes and stuff. It's so cute, right? Let me show you. Let's go down here. So I'm getting used to the new camera, so, oops. So bear with me. Oh, it's turned to day. Bear with me, because I'm, I'm getting used to this new camera. There we go. So this is the inside bit. A lot of it's outside, but check this out. Um, this one's light now, look. It's so cute. Like things move, look, like inside. So cute. What's this one over here? EastEnders, is it? EastEnders? Yeah. And it's Doc Cotton sitting on a bench. Queen Vic. <laughs> square. All but square. <laughs> it's so fun. It's good models, though, isn't it? <laughs> Who decided Market. to make these? <laughs> the shoes are not quite in proportion there with the models. Oh yeah, laundrette, Kathy's kitchen. Oh, Jack and... Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, a... I don't watch EastEnders, so I'm not familiar. You're a train line above the top. <laughs> oh yeah. I thought that was Coronation Street. That's what it's in all of them. <laughs> I'll show you when we get outside. <laughs> it's huge, isn't it? Hang on. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just videoing a minute. <laughs> so cute. All this stuff. Love it. It's like all here. So cool. I actually remember all of this. When I came when I was young, I remember there was um what was it called? There was Where's Wally here? And um 
Even my mum said she remembers that. But it's uh, look at all of it, guys. It's amazing. Yeah. What is it? I'm filling that paddling pool up with a hose pipe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good, isn't it? It's really just running too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've just been pumped around from the pool. Yeah, but you can tell. Yeah. Good. Yeah, too. Simple little things. <laughs> Simple little things. <laughs> this is so nice. I can. The sun's actually shining. <laughs> I'm gonna fly on around. Oh, it's so cute. Boulder's yard. The construction thing over there by the look. Oh, it's all construction. But look at the beach! <laughs> the beach is so cute. There's nude there's a nude people over there. There's nude people. Like a nudist beach. <laughs> How cool. It's so pretty. I don't you can feed the fish for 50 feet. It's so cool. Channel number five television. Murray's DC World. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not current. <laughs> They're waiting for the train. Oh, I wish I could show you guys all of this, but it's just like. I don't imagine it's the same when you're sitting behind the camera as well, like, it's just so nice being here. So nice. So I decided I wanted to drive a boat, so we paid so we could drive a boat. <laughs> I mean, I'm through this one here, but I'm not doing a very good job, so Grab took over. Um, yeah. It's reversed. It's reversed, that's what I mean, he's just going in a circle. It doesn't try very well. <laughs> it's such a cool place though, I love it here. It's very, very quaint and calm and cute. Do this forever. If I was closer to this place, I would come way more. And look, the sun's actually shining in England. Unheard of. The train. To the end of it now. What did you think, Nan? I thought it was lovely. It's nice, isn't it? It's really, really lovely, well kept. Has it changed much from. Um, it's bigger than I remember. I thought it was quite big. It is very, very big. You can hear the sounds of it. It sounds like you're really near a zoo, doesn't it? Little trains running, I love that. I think the only thing you guys can see now is there's a few more around there, but that's it. Let's go. So we've decided we want to play bowling. It's the evening now, and Graham, Graham always plays bowling. We're proper. This is like a mini one. But we just thought, hey, we'll play it. It's three pound a person, so whatever here. Way they advertise this as a bowling alley. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how small it is compared to us, but it is quite small. <laughs> I know what it is. He was nasty to me, so I'm glad he did that. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now we're on Exeter High Street. So we decided to come here. 
because it started to rain and I thought it was a shopping mall but it's not so um, I'm just sort of we're just sort of wondering and now we're looking for Primark even though we have one right where we live I actually really love this <laughs> nan and grandpa back there take a look it's really beautiful here I could have swore it was right down here I, it said it was down here. Okay. Oh wow, look at all the cars. I know someone who'd like it down here. <coughs> I'm not too sure where we're going. I think I need to get Mr. Google out again. Because I don't know. Can I just say, this is taking a lot more guts to film. Because my camera is freaking massive. I'm just going to try and pretend I'm in a bubble. No one's looking at me. like dogs just eating the grass like oh that's my thing just going for a walk and we found some geese a huge geese by the way they're so like fluffy you just want to like do that they're so cute it's a baby she loves in that egg Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look around here. No. It's a really nice area. and breathe like real air and take a break from modern society I have to admit this whole week has been amazing for that whoa <laughs> did you see how he was running oh wow 